Hey everybody, Galusia here, bringing you another Pokemon card opening, and today I've got a banger for you because we're going to be hitting some pretty big stuff. So, it's the Battle of the ETBs. So we're going to be doing a Shining Fates ETB versus a Battle Styles ETB to see which one is going to pull the best cards. Now the one thing that's a little bit unfair, if you can even say that, about this is that the the battle styles etb only comes with eight packs not with 10 like you get in the shining fates so that is a little bit unfair i will admit that is a little bit unfair uh advantage to shining Fates. but you know what battle styles just stepped up then that's not my fault i didn't make the etbs so i actually haven't had a chance to open any battle style ETBs yet. So some of this stuff, you know, like with uh, Shining Fates, I've opened so many of them that at this point I just throw everything out because it's ridiculous how much I have of it. Um, but for this one, I kind of want to take the opportunity to look through it at least a little bit. So if you've already seen a battle style ETB and you're not interested in what's inside of it, I would skip ahead about 60 seconds or so. Uh, I really like the artwork on the inside I like that they do that too because you really could you know use that as some sort of like a vertical poster if you will and so in the box we've got obviously all of our packs you know to even this out I could technically grab like two random single packs of battle styles but then that's not really ETB versus ETB is it so never mind. All right, so we've got eight packs. Same damage counters that are in everything, of course. The dice, unsurprising, are red. And I'm assuming they're blue in the other one. I did score the blue one as well, so I guess we'll see. Uh, there is the card dividers, which I'm a big fan of these card dividers. Uh, they work really, really well for... Um, oh, that's weird. There's an energy card pack, and there's a fairy energy right on the top. That's actually wild, because fairy energy is not really a thing anymore. So, that's kind of interesting. And the card backs. So, I really like using the card backs. I really like using the card separators. It's one thing I really use out of these ETBs, and it's a good reason to keep picking them up. Of course, there is a ETB card. So, there's that for you. You guys should at this point already know what's inside of a Shining Fates box. If you don't, I have an earlier video where I just opened a Shining Fates ETB on its own and showcase more of like what's inside of that. So I'm just going to cut ahead to when that's open so we can get to the packs. Okay, here is your Shining Fates ETB code. Some great bonus codes because we're opening ETBs along with all the codes you get from the packs today. So normally when I do these battles, I alternate. So I would do a Shining Fates, Battle Styles, Shining Fates, Battle Styles. Um, but because Shining Fates has extras, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with two Shining Fates to the one Battle Styles just because there is a little bit of an unbalance there in how many packs they have. So besides the fact that Battle Styles is a little bit notorious, notorious, notorious for its pull rates not always being a hundred percent, and Shining Fates can be a little bit more exciting. They also have less cards, so I really feel like uh, Battle Styles is going to need a little bit of luck on their hand to bring it. So we got a more Peko for my first reverse. And it did OV right out of the box. Okay, that's a pretty good start. Obviously, I have a ditto V. I have a couple ditto, ditto Vs at this point, but we'll take a V card. That's one point for Shining Fates for sure. We're going to have to give like some sort of a bonus point to Battle Styles just for the lack of... Like if it came down to a tie, I would give it to Battle Styles just because of the... Lack of packs. Okay, so fighting energy, rusted shield. Oh my goodness, 
Team Yell, Elder Gross, Eevee, Morpeko, Bruzel, Nicket, Hackney, a shiny Greedent, which I do not have this one yet, so that's exciting. And then behind it, a Zardu. But, shiny Greedent, that's a good pull. It's a baby shiny, but it's a baby shiny that I don't have yet. Well, and technically, it's a baby shiny because it's not a V, but, you know, it's also an evolved form, so a little harder to find than your baby babies, if you will. All right, first battle styles of the day. Mm -mm -mm. Lightning energy to start us off. Mr. Mustard, a Spoopa, Luxio, Houndor, Frillish, Silicobra, Glamiao, Tepig, Urn of Vitality is my reverse, which I don't have the reverse of yet, and a Boltund. Okay, back to Shining Fates. And these Shining Fates are kind of weird. Um, obviously, I just opened them out of an ETV, so it's not like they're resealed or anything. But they have these little bits of glue on both ends, just like when it was going through the manufacturing um some glue that they use to you know seal the packs or whatever uh spilled onto the outside of the packs uh and it seems like it's on most of the packs but it doesn't seem to be affecting the cards per se i haven't looked at them too too close but um i don't think the quality of the cards has suffered in any kind of way they look all right horsey Grookey, Morpeko, Spinarak, an amazing rare Reshiram. That's always good. Points scored for Shining Fates there. And then a Desidui. I never knew how to say that one. Desidui, DC, the eye guy. So we got three cards on the board now for... Shining Fates, Battle Styles, yet to... But, you know, it, it's it's still very early, and it's anyone's game. I've got chase cards for both of these. But there's a couple big chase cards in Battle Styles. And if they came through with it, it's like an automatic victory. If Shining Fates produces a Charizard, that's an automatic victory for Shining Fates. There's no shot that Battle Style wins, no matter how many pulls you get. But if Battle Styles gives me one or two of my big chase cards, it would be almost impossible for Shining Fates to win at that point. So it's a little bit subjective, because it's, it's partially based off of what I'm looking for, I guess. But I think we can all agree that the Tyranitar after the buffet is... An amazing card and I still haven't pulled it yet so that's one of the big ones if I got that battle styles wins end of story do, 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 do. right a lot of elder grosses today pulling tons of them shinx rollet snom reverse and professor's research Back to the battle styles. All right, battle styles. You're not even on the board yet. You've got to... You have to show up. you got to come up with something. It took a long time for me to get the... Um, Bruxish. Hey! A Stoutland V. All right. Battle Styles is finally on the board. It took me a while to get a Battle Styles ETB, and on my last target run, I was fortunate enough to get both of them, the red and the blue, so that I can get that out of the way. The Shining Fate ones, I'll probably pick up forever, just because it's one of the best ways to get Shining Fate packs. For 
the battle styles. There's plenty of other ways to get packs. So it's probably more of a one-time thing for me. Like I just really wanted to get the extras that come with it besides the packs. But like the Shining Fates, although I have a thousand of them now, like it comes with a bonus card. You get the EV VMAX promo card and you get 10 packs. Hey, baby shiny. I don't have that one either yet. Sweet. Um, but yeah, you get um, 10 packs instead of eight and you get the promo card, which you don't get with battle styles, which is kind of weird. Um, I don't know. I just feel like there's not as much going on there. And I'm pretty sure I just put that in the wrong pile. I did. If you guys are interested in like how I go about getting my various Pokemon cards that I get for opening, on the the two best places to see that is my TikTok and my Instagram. Although I would I would argue that TikTok is probably the number one place. Um, but I post anytime I go shopping for Pokemon cards, I post it on my TikTok as kind of like a card hunting series uh, to see how lucky I can get and where I'm pulling stuff. I really like the Crobat Hollow. The Hollow really shows on that one. It's a nice card. And then I also do a ton of these small scale battles for TikTok since the TikTok is obviously 60 seconds or less. I do just single pack Versus where I would do like just one pack of shining fates versus one pack of battle styles or you know Whatever the two packs would be and I do those pretty frequently as well So if you're into that the link is in my description and you can go check out my TikTok to see more battles and more card hunting Maybe. Lucifer Thwacky Reverse and Boss's Orders. Plenty of time. Plenty of time for both packs to come up. I think Battle Styles, if they don't have one of the big hits, that's like, again, pretty much like a guaranteed win. I'm going to need some big hits coming up here. Still Cobra and Played All. That's not one of them. <laughs> Yeah, as of right now, Shining Fates has four on the board. So Battle Styles just one. So without a monster hit, like the next three packs would have to hit for them to have a chance. Either that or at least like bigger hits. Because I wouldn't say we've had any real big hits in either of them. A couple Vs, a couple Baby Shinies, one Amazing Rare that is... Uh, at least I feel like it's surprisingly common. The Res the Reshiram uh, Amazing Rare, I've pulled like three or four times now. Uh, so I feel like in terms of like cards being particularly rare, like that's not as rare as they get. So yeah, I don't feel like we've pulled anything insane yet. So a Rainbow Rare... Uh, any kind of secret card, anything like that, like even like a full art from Battle Styles would really make it more up to debate where you guys can debate it in the comments, which you can always do. Even if it seems lopsided, you can always comment below and tell me why you think one side won as opposed to the other. Maybe there's just certain cards that aren't even particularly rare, but they got pulled from the one side. And you're particularly into them, so you're thinking, you know what? I actually think they were the winner. Okay. Re Energy Recycler for the reverse. And... Go! Oh, instant win! Yes! Instant win! We pulled it. We finally pulled it. Tyranitar V, after the buffet. It has been pulled. Comment whatever you want. Battle Styles just won. Only way Shining Fates wins now is with a Charizard. Only way they win is with a Charizard only way it has finally been pulled i've opened so many battle style packs two booster boxes countless other collection boxes and singles it has been pulled oh my goodness it's so pretty look at them all passed out look at the pig hiding in the background god such a good card you sir they're gonna go right there of course 
as always, I forgot my sleeves. But it's, <laughs> I, I never, it's like tradition at this point. I almost feel weird if I remember the sleeves. Like, I'm just, I feel like I'm known for forgetting sleeves at this point. But it's safely just sitting in the background. Nothing's going to happen to it. It's sitting right there. It'll be fine. I'll get sleeves as soon as I'm done. But, oh my goodness. That, 100%. This whole time I'm opening, I'm thinking, nope. Battle Styles is down for the count. And then the Tyranitar V is pulled. I, I can't believe it. I've been looking for this card for so long. I can literally, like... I'm completely happy now. If I get no more hits with Battle Styles and I don't 100% complete the set, at least I have the Tyranitar. I'm so happy right now. Monster pulls. Monster pulls. That feels really, really good. Could you imagine if we did pull the Charizard? If Battle Styles like completely like dominates, like boom, Tyranitar V, and then Shining Fates is like, hold on, you thought we were done. That would be unreal. I don't even know how I would contain myself. You have no idea, actually, how badly I wanted to scream when I saw the Tyranitar V, but my daughter is asleep upstairs, so... We're trying to avoid screaming too loud. I always feel like when I get a big pull, and, like, my I, I feel like my face turns red because I'm, like, holding in a scream, because I just want to be like, yes! Like, I just want to, like, belt it out. But almost always, like 95% of the time, if I'm recording one of these, my daughter is sleeping upstairs in her room. And obviously, I'm trying to be respectful of that as best as I can. All right. Still opening battle styles. I just, it's like, I don't even, I feel like there's no point. It's like, what are we even opening this for? Who cares? What are we going to get? Actually, I don't think I have the reverse for the king. No, I do, actually. Never mind. I do have the reverse for the king drill. I have that one. I have virtually all... I have all of the regular... Like, the common, uncommon, and rares for battle styles. And I have almost all of the reverses for the common, uncommons, and rares. Like, that's how many packs of battle styles I've opened trying to get to that Tyranitar. So... Feels good. I can't believe we pulled it. I can't even believe it. Can you believe it? This is the one. This is the video that I pulled. I'm going to remember this forever. Hey! Baby shiny on the score bunny. That's nice. Put another baby shiny there. That's three baby shinies. We'll just, I don't know, put them there I guess. They're just kind of stacking up. I will say, even though the the Tyranitar basically makes it an instant win, uh, Shiny Fates is showing up. This is a good ETB. Like we've gotten three baby shinies now, uh, plus the the V and the Amazing Rare. Like that, I mean, it's definitely it's definitely showing up. Like this is not even with the Tyranitar because we've pulled virtually nothing besides that. Just the Stoutland uh, V. It's it's not super lopsided. Obviously, the Tyranitar is pretty much the nail in the coffin there. But if I was just opening this Shining Fates ETB by itself, um, I would be really happy with it. Like, this is, you know, enough. There's no monster pulls yet, so to speak, for the Shining Fates. But there's enough pulls where I'm like, I got my money's worth on this ETB. Especially because most of them I don't have yet. Well, no, that's not actually true. I think I think I have the Score Bunny. I know I have the Restaurant. I have a bunch of those. And I know I have a bunch of those Ditto Vs. Um, but I'm pretty sure two of those Baby Shinies I don't actually have. And it's so hard to complete the Shining Fate set. The Shining Fate set is... There's just so many... You know, Ultra Rares and whatnot with all the different Shiny cards... Anytime you get a shiny, even if it's a baby, makes me happy that you don't, you know, that you don't already have. Because, it's yeah, it's just so hard to complete the set. Okay, Shining Fates. Yeah, this is your last chance. And it's a five rule. <laughs> so, so, I feel like, uh, again, this is pretty, pretty cut and dry. But let's do a quick 
review so then I can wrap this up and go get some sleep. So obviously the star of the show is the Tyranitar and even though Battle Styles has been out for a little bit now, this is still a very high valued card and is probably still fetching about $125, $130. So that's pretty serious cash. If we take a close look at it, the centering isn't perfect. I definitely wouldn't say this is necessarily PSA 10. There's a little bit less on this side than this side. Um, if And I, I think I even see a little a minor chip on the top, although that could just be the hollow playing tricks with my eyes. If we look at the back, there's definitely whitening on that corner. I think that's the only whitening, but again, it's a little bit, the centering's a little bit off. I mean, this is definitely a PSA 9, and it would it would be a contender for a 9.5, but I do not think it's a 10. So, but that and the Stoutland V were everything that we got from the Battle Styles. But yeah, tons of stuff from Shining Fate. So it's not, like again, it's not super lopsided. If you were just going off a dollar value, then it's probably pretty clear that Battle Styles won just because of the value of that one card. But each of these cards has a fair amount of value to them in and of themselves, other than the Ditto V. <laughs> the Ditto V has like virtually, I think it's worth like $1.50 at this point because there's so many of them in circulation. But yeah, uh, God, just great. Just absolutely fantastic. Obviously, I'm very excited with the results from that. Um, finally pulled the Tyranitar V. I, I really wasn't... I kept saying, like, this is the only way that Battle Styles is going to win because there was no good pulls coming out of it, but obviously I didn't expect to actually get the card. Uh, that instantly became one of the top three most valuable cards in my collection because I'm still chasing a lot of Charizards. So the Charizards that I have are generally valued around 100 or so. So that is, uh, that's, that's one of my biggest cards now. So that's very exciting. I'm glad you were all there for it. Thanks for coming out, and I'll see you in the next one.